Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As you guys can see, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu, and today we have a different type of video. Today, my friends, we have a thrift challenge. That is right, my mission, my purpose, my goal of the day is to go to every single Salvation Army in Houston, Texas, and to show you guys the divine thrift finds that I accrue and acquire in these thrifts. So without further ado, man, it's 9 a.m., we're at the first of five Salvation Armies. I think there's five, there might be four in the city and we're gonna see how good they are and how much fire attire lays within their walls. Without further ado, let's get in this store and find some thrift scores. Let's get it. All right guys, so we've entered the first premises and y'all can see this store is huge. This is the one that's nearest to my house. So I go here all the time. But I am legit the first person in here because it is so early and there are a couple finds that have tantalized me thus far. Texas football is life. Yeehaw again, man. Representing a great state, $9. They're tripping on that one. Personal file, tripping. I might have to come back and catch them slipping on a half off. Look at these. $3 vintage Orvis made in USA duck encrusted draws. These only look like they have light soil. Hold on, let's check for skin marks. None whatsoever. Perfect. So you know what? Throw it in a boiling pot and you might have some wearable used vintage made in America draws. And then I saw this dude hanging up and this is hands down going to be the first thrift purchase. Jesus Thirst Quencher, the play on Gatorade. Hey, all hail the great Jesus. Y'all already know, this is going to be the first cop in the thrift shops of the day of Salvation Army. But it's so early, it's a little unstrategic to be in this spot this early because they haven't added anything new to the racks whatsoever and they are pretty desolate and barren. But uh, let's check what else is in this spot. Okay, so I perused all the t-shirts in here and I've only found two more that are noteworthy, which is super sad, but you got the Don't Mess With Texas biker armadillo and look it appears his internal body liquid is on the outskirts of this shirt looking like he got hit by 18 wheeler what is that type o of that modillo nah tripping tripping and then uh, i found this juan's dere juan's dear puerto vallarta jalisco mexico okay that donkey does got a donk on it um i might have to bruh two dollars <laughs> it's relatively funny for a t-shirt i just might all right i can't believe it dude Amongst all the searching in the hat section, I found a little something that came through. Yes. The Nike SB 120% wool, straight sheep fur snapback. Oh, there's another one. It's actually a strap back. Dude, they have the vintage, hold on, hold on. The vintage Guess Denim Dad Hat. This is what I needed in my life. All right, man, we went from two moderately all right finds actually this one is, is pretty clean to four scores let's get it all right we managed to find another one man another because one. i'm skipping no section no stone is going unturned bruh you have the pestilence the polo golf grasshopper encrusted polo six bucks i might as well you also have this one which is pretty cool it has all these golfers like squatting they look very interesting this is like six bucks but it's extremely faded so i'm gonna leave this dude but um one other slight find hold on scratch that scratch that we got a uh, another slight find tommy for your mommy polo six bucks a little more than i would like to pay but the stripes are nuts the embroidery is crazy but this banger man bruh the fry operator vintage kfc merchandise six dollars bruh team gear by barco got the little inlets for a name tag dude just imagine walking into kfc for some 90s fried chicken you see homeboy rocking this oh man this is a penny dropper straight up should i <laughs> that's low-key heat though yo who would have thunk it in the ladies section i found probably one of the top things in this spot oh never mind man i thought i thought i found my girl some size eight vans very clean condition but look at that separation oh, my oh god. lord oh lord got me <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of the first Salvation Army and I got six things in this tiny bag. Now, y'all see me go to this spot numerous times and find straight heat, but this is just a random day. So I figured I'd show what I found early in the morning. 
Now, one thing about this spot is they do restock all throughout the day. So coming in the morning might not be the best strategy, but uh, man, I had to hit the first one while I could because we got more stores to go into. So let's get on to them. All right, guys, here we go, man. We drove like 40 minutes to the next Salvation Army. I saw my homie Mike who works here and he told me, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably dry. So that's never a good sign. But uh, this is a store I've never been to. So let's get in here and hopefully pop my cherry with Plaza in the Salvation Army. All right, guys, we're in here. This store is huge and goal. Dude, straight up goal. First score of the day, $6 USA Nike dry fit jersey i'm saying this is the first score because this is the first really cool thing i feel like like extremely different um and relatively higher value item that i found in here u.s men's popsicle americana soccer for six all right guys i managed to find one other little thing actually two things this is a 2008 rolling stones uh european tour it's only three dollars so i figured i would grab this dude it's pretty cool i've gone through a lot of stuff and there's not much um, but i also did find that 2000 and you guys know what is that is that a six no it's a seven and i hate a goofy especially i hate a goofy especially collab this little uh, Disney kids crew neck. I might, I might not. It is seven. seven. So uh, a little bit, a little bit much for a small piece. All right, perfect. perfect. Dude, in the Kiwi color scheme, I found a t-shirt that schmacks. Says, I don't think so. Talk to the hand, show me the money. It's a bear with an attitude. Rocking Converse, pink tank top. Who cares says who as if you wish. Yo, I promise on my life, it never fails. There is a cart with a terrible wheel in the Salvation Army. Like it is just a guarantee. Anyways, this t-shirt is a guaranteed purchase, $7? Seven. Oh, hell no. Nah. Wait a minute. All right, this is wild, man. I do not get the justification, the rationality. Look, you have these tourist tees. Butterfly encrusted Costa Rican seven. Seven. Tripping. Tripping. You got the Costa Rica fish encrusted. Another seven. Seven. Dude, then you have the $2 steel. I actually am gonna get this. The Mayan calendar tourist tee. Banger. And then a St. Thomas two bucks. I don't think so. But one shirt that is absolutely astounding is the single stitch vintage Cozumel no problem drunken and pineapple tea boy is twizzled for only two dollars you already know what time it is I have to acquire this little pina fire all right guys so we're about to skedaddle of course I had to check the sneakers again the women's section came through and blue balled me ten dollar multi-color Nike freeze with the hole in the toe that's not oh what I want God. at all um, and then in the jacket department there was this really cool blue bonnet square Houston Texas baby look at the state flower Chuck on the front but then the 12 I wish I might oh no not like this but then the last thing I got in here were of course these aquaberry short shorts for only four dollars mine as well I think we might be leaving here with one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six items again. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there you have it. And we're out of there, man. Six things, 12 finds today total. Anything crazy? Not so much. So Mike was a little bit right with his prediction. The store was pretty heatless, but hey, it's just the second spot of the day. We at least have two more to turn things around. We'll see what's up with this Salvation Army scavenging, bruh. But right now, I'm not completely convinced. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The third Salvation Army of the day. All right, guys, here we go. We're in the next spot. And this is a store I used to come to all the time. I haven't been in about a couple years. Huge spot. They just added some new white tees to the rack and I stumbled finally across some grails. God bless my spirit, bruh. Hey, thrifting is like fishing. 
it takes time, but eventually you'll get that hook in, bruh. And I got that hook in, oh, my lord. NBA World Champions, $3 Houston Rockets back to back. You got the 1994, the year before. Now, both of these are pretty thrashed, but they ain't asking too much cash. Only three bucks, y'all know what it is. The starter that goes harder, I knew this was a banger because I did see that starter insignia just poking out like this little Tommy piece. But bruh, this other T, the 94, definitely has some holes in it. It's seen better days, but regardless of the fact, these are that hometown heat. So I have to get them. Clutch City Classics, 95 NBA Finals. Come on, man. Someone's whole collection. I don't know what they were doing in these t-shirts. Like, they might have caught a body. Who knows, but these are absolutely astounding. I have to grab both of them. And it's about that time, Daddy. Yes. Yo, hold on, wait, wait a second. What are the odds? They have another one, another Juan Deere different store, two dollars? <laughs> Bruh, come on, donkey. That'll do. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The thrift juices are flowing. I feel reinvigorated. Check it out in the short section. Cut and sew all three primary colors. Oh, three, are you yeah. joking me? Bruh, not just that. These are Mickey and Co. Vintage shorts. The subtle classic. And what's the price? Three dollars once again. Absolutely astounding. That's a banger, baby. That's a banger. My lord. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling y'all, it's Liddy again. The women's section has came through with the vintage Mickey banger, all sublimated dyed. This is a vintage piece made in Portugal. Bruh, $7, are you joking me? Hey, I also saw a couple jackets in the ladies section that I do need to show off. You got that little boat, that boat encrusted jacket. This is $9. It has the ropes, the little life flotation devices, all of that ocean blue color scheme, embroidery, that Fuda International. What you know about that? Is there anything crazy on the back? Nah, this is all over print. They are charging nine, which is a little bit steep, but I might have to get it because this is just a pretty cool piece. And then of course, for the ladies, an essential 90s windbreaker. I like grabbing these when I can. I don't know what price that is. Hopefully $2.99, but um, pretty fire that Buku. What you know about it? I'm not even gonna pretend though. The sneaker section in this store kind of has some things. Five, seven, fours. Not too shabby for daddy, but they have the 998s made in USA. These definitely need to be cleaned up. The suede is faded, but I mean, 998s are still quality. There's still some grip. Heel drag, $10. Size 11 and a half. I don't know. I'm contemplating, but I'm not exactly sure. I mean, a cleanup job can definitely do a lot, but these kicks have also been through better days. All right, so I'm just leaving those uh, 998s. They're a little bit too beat up, but I did find in the accessory department this Air Irwin snapback. I just really like the colors on it. Very vibrant, could go with the Mickey fit. And then I found these like children's Air Force Ones that are beat to hell but I'm gonna make them into some planters, so that should be cool. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much done with this spot. I did one last final um, walk through, look over, and found that black history tee in the nice brown color scheme, $4, double X. Of course, dare to dream. Bruh, if you can dream it, you can do it. Let's get it. Yeah, it's about time, man. Hey, third time's the charm, baby. That's what they say, and I believe it. I believe it, baby. Man, shout out to Salvation Army, bruh. It's crazy when I found those Rockets tees, there was this kid who was lurking on the dude restocking. And so I was like, you know what? He was here first, I'm gonna let him go at the white tees. He hesitated. That fool just stood there, like didn't do anything. So I'm like, oh, this fool ain't a seasoned veteran. So I go in, find the heat. This fool walks behind me like, like a mouse. Like, like you hear just subtle footsteps behind me. He sees me pull the Rockets tees, he goes all up in my ear. I was like, bruh, come on, man. Come on, man. That's what happens, Playboy. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was a it was a beautiful day up in this third store. I'm so happy. Ah, let's go on to yet another one, bruh. Today is looking up. All right, guys, here we go, man. Salvation Army number four. I saw a young little hipster walk in there. So that means I gotta go extra ham in this thing right now. All right, guys, we are in the mix. And this last spot definitely got some cool art pieces but in terms of clothing two things 
Half sweat. Two things out of the whole men's section that I've seen that tantalize me. Russell Athletic, $6. Butamis kind of varsity carpet print. And then speaking of prints, this shirt right here, made in the United States of America. You got the cheetah face encrusted, 90s striped buttons, $6. Drinking from the watering hole design. I gotta get both. And that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me not tell a lie. They also got that Jin Kel crew neck. $9, though. Wait a minute. I don't think so, man. Big J, Jin Kel jeans. Tripping. Tripping. And who knew the little kid's sneaker section is packed out with Jordans. Three pairs of Jordan 14s, all for like 20 bucks. That's wild. Tripping. And they have the little Jordan 1 mids right here nine hollas all right you guys know i had to take my talents to the lower section the women's section of the store and i found a couple of accessories man it says that golf is not a matter of life and death it's much more important than that vintage trucker hat multicolored and then to match it you found this multicolored or i found you guys join me on the adventure this multicolored 90 sweater for seven i figured it was cool enough to scoop up and that's a full thrift fit in this biatch. Wait a second, I noticed something before I left. They had Chuck in the first store. They have Barbara in the second. The Blue Bonnet Square, Houston, Texas. What is going on, man? The Salvation Army has divided a family. Maybe I should cop, run 40 minutes to the other store just to reunite Chuck and his beautiful wife, Barbara. What a shame, what a shame. Hey, but what isn't a shame is all this flame. So we're back home right now, guys. I did shoot a conclusion leaving the last store with this nice little golfer hat on. However, that whole clip was out of focus. It was absolutely tripping. Now, I will say that I went to four Salvation Armies. There was another one, but everyone was telling me they didn't know if it was open or not. So I was gonna drive an extra 40 minutes to pull up to a closed shop. But uh, yeah, we got a bunch of things. 26 items in total and hands down one store smacked really hard the last store was a weird vibe because they had no music playing so it's kind of freaking me out now all these items are going to be for sale today on thriftheavenvintage.com that is my vintage website the link is in the video description and obviously i'm going to cut you guys some steals and deals um this item will probably be like 20 bucks only because i spent like 11 dollars on it all right so i'm going to try and give out fair prices to each and every one of you guys, which is what I always strive to do. Now, my favorite pieces were hands down the Houston Rockets tees. These were absolutely crispy. I love the Mickey shirt as well. Oh, so, so stunning. Just the all over print vintage edition made in Portugal. It gets no more exotic and erotic than that. And then again, just to refresh the memory the other rockets t now these are thrash if these were in good condition i probably sell them for like 35 bucks but because they are beat up if you guys want a shirt that you can rock and shock not worry about fumbling like bean burritos on this definitely will qualify now i will say that in the second store i absolutely loved this t-shirt i got the slime lime green bear shirt it was seven dollars which man, that's egregious for a t-shirt, like a $7 thrift price tripping, but I just needed it, it was so cool. And then also, I feel like a low key grail was this nice single stitch, highly intoxicated pineapple t-shirt right here. Even the beverage is just twizzled. So I love it, dude. But overall, what will I rate my experience at the Salvation Armies? The first two stores made me feel a little depressed. Third store lifted my spirits up to a 10. And then the last store was just a weird vibe and kind of brought me back down to earth. So I say it's overall a seven, man. It, it's a seven. seven. Let's just call it how it is. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a comment and drop a like. And let me know if I should continue this series at other thrift shops, thrift stores. I can do like mom and pop shops maybe or like Goodwill and some of the bigger other thrift shop so i just figured it'd be a good experiment i wasted a lot of time just driving all around the city just to conceptually do this so any love and support definitely goes a long way so thank y'all again live the dream eat that ice cream link to the website in the description if you guys want anything and until next time i'm locked i'm loaded and i'm out
Peace. Killing these songs, leaving them bloody life. I rules And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.